Hi. I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. Dim power's out again. Lucky I have my homemade flashlight. And I'm going over today's science file. Does electricity flow through the middle or outside of a wire? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this! You will need some batteries, some wire, a Christmas light, a pot bottle, some tin foil, a paper towel tube, and a buttload of tape. Start by cutting the top off of a bottle. I'm using this cone shape. Next, you're gonna cut off one of these light bulbs from a Christmas light set and use some tape to attach the light bulb to the mouth of the bottle. Now, tape two batteries together like this. Cut some wire just over the length of the batteries and make sure to strip both of the ends. Now attach one wire to the bottom of the battery with some tape. Attach the other side to the Christmas light. Now attach the light bulb's wire to the top of the battery using some tape. Your light bulb should now light up. Finally, attaching a paper towel to it. Get some tin foil, wrap the tin foil around in a cone, and place the tin foil on the inside of the pot bottle. Fold the tin foil over the top of the pot bottle. Cut away any excess tin foil. Shake the tin foil so that it attaches to the pot bottle. And there you have it, your very own homemade flashlight. And oh yeah, about shutting your flashlight off, just let the batteries slide down. See? <laughs> now that's so wicked cool. So, how does your flashlight actually work? And does electricity flow through the middle or outside of a wire? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Flashlights work by using what's called a direct current. This all starts with the batteries which produce volts. Volts are a measure of how willing an atom is to give up its electrons to other atoms. The more willing atoms are to give up their electrons, the higher the voltage, and the less likely they are, the lower the voltage. Electric flow happens when the copper wire connects to the positive side of the battery, and electrons jump over to the copper atoms. To stay stable, the copper atoms have to give up their extra electrons onto the next copper atom. The flow of passing electrons makes their way to the filament in the light bulb. This causes the filament to get very hot and start to glow, producing light. The electric flow continues down the wire to the negative side of the battery where electrons are passed back into the battery. Electricity takes the easiest path. The lower the voltage, the current flows along the outside of a wire. And the higher the voltage, the flow builds up into the middle of a wire. If too much flow builds up in a wire, the wire will get extremely hot, which is what causes electric fires. The flow speed of electrons can be measured, and this is called amperes or amps. If electrons flow past a certain point of a wire in one second, we call this one amp. The faster the flow of electrons, the higher the amps. Voltage times amps equals watts. So now you know more about direct current. You know, making your own homemade flashlight right at home is why science is so cool.